hello guys so in this video i will explain you that how you can treat if you have only one categorical variable uh, in the last video i have explained you that how you can treat a numerical variable you can either plot a histogram and uh, but for a categorical uh, variable instead of plotting a histogram you have a bar plot where you tell about the number of uh, you tell about the counts of each categories the number of observations uh, which are lying in the each categories so let's take one of the uh, fact, uh, categorical variable and please remember whenever you have categorical variable for data visualization using ggplot2 you should convert into the factor variable so we have already converted low smoke race pdl these are all categorical variables and we have converted them into the factor variables using the function as dot factor so let's take a simple example of race category which has three categories and we want to see the uh, we want to see using a bar plot uh, what is the distribution of each of these categories means how many observations lie in each of these three categories earlier i explained you for the histogram it is similar just instead of writing geom underscore bar you uh, geom underscore histogram you write geom underscore bar and x axis you write the variable name instead of writing numerical variable name you will write the categorical variable name so right now i am choosing the race category uh, race variable which has three categories i will be writing the race variable name in the x uh, value so x is equal to race and rest will remain the same as i explained in the geom underscore histogram so just do like this select this and hit enter uh, so sorry here is one bracket missing it is always uh, you should uh, do the escape button to just escape out of this when you are stuck in this if you are missing some uh, uh, some round brackets uh, so you should always uh, take care of these uh, brackets because if you miss one of those uh, then you may be not uh, the plot will not be visible on the right hand side and there will be plus sign on this uh, left hand side you can see which is left otherwise it will the cursor will be back to the console and so let's again uh, select this and then control enter here you can see that we have three categories of the rays and we have uh, mostly uh, the persons are uh, from the first category and the least uh, persons are from the second category and uh, so we, we can from here from the bar plot we can see that which categories have more observations in the data so this is for the one categories uh, where you can just use a simple bar chart in the next video i will be explaining you how you can use more categorical variables to find the information in the data so thanks for watching this video